Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Caleb Likes Books. Today I have another book review for you once again for Star Wars The New Jedi Order book, which is Traitor by Matthew Stover. This is book 13 of the series. I recently reviewed the last two books uh, because I just finished those not too long ago, um, and so you can check out the reviews on my channel if you'd like. Um, and I was very excited to read this book because I had heard from several people this is a fan favorite of the series, um, along with Star by Star and some of the others. Um, but it seemed to me like Star by Star and Trader were definitely the fan favorites of the series, so I was very excited to get into it. And I've also heard that Matthew Stover is a fantastic writer, um, and so I was very excited. And uh, I think that excitement was met and exceeded because while it's hard for me to say for sure if I liked this more than Star by Star as my favorite in the series. It is absolutely at least equal with it. And I would be even comfortable with saying I probably liked this a little more. So to get started uh, with good stuff about this book, of which there are many things which I'm going to talk about, um, I think the thing that... There, there's a few things that I really liked in this. Uh, first of all, the character stuff, as I usually like to talk about. Um, this book is pretty small scale in terms of its characters. The last couple books were very much like multiple character books. This book focuses primarily on three characters, um, as well as a, a couple others, obviously, but three primarily. Those being Jason Solo, who has been away for a few books, so it was nice to see him again. Uh, Vergeer, or Vergeer, however you say her name, and Ganner Rizode. Um, who comes in later in the book, um, as well as the several Yuz and Vaughn characters like Nam and Nor and stuff like that, um, who's also very important, but I would say the, the focus characters are those main three, especially Jason. This is Jason's book. Um, much like past books, like Dark Journey, I would say, was Jaina's book. Um, the, um, the duology right before Star by Star, which I can never remember the name of, was Anakin's book. Uh, this is very much Jason's book, I would say. Um, and he is like the main character of this book. And uh, this book, uh, you know, he's been away for, for a while. We haven't seen him for a few books. Um, and he has uh, been captured. But he, he is uh, just with Vergeer. He is in the Embrace of Pain, uh, which is something that we've seen a few times before. And he is basically stranded all alone, separate from everybody else. Um, all by himself. Um, and this book covers some period of time while he is like that um, and chronicles the journey that he has been on over uh, all this time. And uh, it, it was really interesting to see that journey because there is a big arc for Jason in this book. This book, I, I've never been crazy about Jason. I've always liked him. He's kind of similar to a lot of other characters in this series where I've always liked him, but I've never loved him. This book made me really love Jason Solo, and I loved that the journey, uh, I loved the journey that he went on in this book. Um, and uh, also you have Vergeer, or Vergeer, I'm just gonna say Vergeer, uh, who uh, is, is occupying somewhat of a mentor role to Jason in this book. Uh, though he, he doesn't initially really accept that. Um, but she is kind of trying to teach him things, te try to, to make him think about some things, some things relating to morality, relating to the Force, uh, relating to all kinds of different things that were very interesting. Um, and I really enjoyed her in this book. She's, a, again, a character that I've never really been into. In fact, I've always found her a bit confusing and not very memorable for, for part of that reason. Uh, or partly for that reason, rather. She's one of those characters that I would see pop up and I just wouldn't really know what to think of her. Um, but I really enjoyed her in this book. And then you have Ganner Rizode, who comes in later in the book. Uh, the first, this, this book is split into three sections. Um, the first two sections are all Jason and Vergeer, basically. Um, and then the third section, you have Ganner Rizode coming in because he's gone off to try to find Jason. Um... And uh, he was really excellent in this book. And uh, he's, again, one of those characters that I never loved, but I always enjoyed seeing, but I really enjoyed him in this book. And the uh, stuff that he does in that later third of this book was amazing, and I loved it. And I loved his interactions with Jason um, and all that stuff. 
Um, so the character stuff in this book was great. Uh, this was a very character focused book, which made me very happy as someone who really enjoys that kind of thing. Um, very much a character focused book. Obviously, there is some plot stuff in here, but it is like very intensely a, a more philosophical, I guess, kind of book, a much more character driven book, um, that kind of thing, uh, which I really enjoyed. I also really liked, as I already kind of discussed a little, a lot of the theming in this book. This book, uh, especially the, the discussions between Jason and Vergeer, which makes up a significant portion of this book. A lot of this book is just the two characters talking to each other. Um, there's a lot of discussion about morality, about good versus evil and things like that, about the force, the light side and the dark side, whether or not those things correspond to good or evil and how much that matters. Um, all kinds of things like that, the the value of life, all kinds of stuff. Um, this uh, actually reminded me heavily of the video game Knights of the Old Republic 2, uh, which if you haven't played before, I highly recommend it. It is amazing. Um, but uh, a lot of the more philosophical aspects of this book, as well as the character of Vergeer, uh, who reminded me heavily of Kreia from, from KOTOR 2, a lot of the philosophical aspects of this book reminded me a lot of that game. Because that was very much focused on kind of deconstructing the force and looking at it and saying, is the light side inherently good? Is the dark side inherently evil? Um, you know, how do they relate to morality? Is the force a good thing or a bad thing? Is, you know, if you help people, is that actually a good thing? Or is acting out of self-interest, can that be a good thing? All, all kinds of interesting stuff like that. Um, and this book deals heavily with that, which was super interesting, and I was so into it. Um, and I thought it was very interesting and thought-provoking, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, some other stuff I really liked in this book was the events of the story and the plot itself. Um, the uh, there There's some stuff that happens in this book, which I'm not going to touch on much, because I would consider it kind of a spoiler, even though it's not all necessarily end of the book type stuff. Um, but I think that if you have not read this and you don't know anything that happens in this book, I think it's something that you'd want to see uh, uh, as you read it for the first time, um, which is how it was for me. And uh, the, the stuff that happens in this book, particularly in part two, there is a big thing that happens in this book that Jason is a part of, but it is not necessarily a thing that happens to Jason. It's a thing that has been uh, building, I guess, throughout the series up to this point, and you see it in this book. And it, I don't know, it just really hit me, and I really enjoyed seeing that, and I thought it was fascinating and really made me wonder how that's going to impact things in the future, uh, not only for the series, but for the entire setting um, in general. Um, and then the end of this book was awesome. Um, as per usual for this series, the book ends with this big climactic battle type sequence, um, which I really enjoyed in this book. Uh, of course, this was much more small scale in other books, it's very much like, you know, the Yuzenvong army and the New Republic army battling it out. Whereas this, since it only focuses on a handful of characters, it's much more small scale, but I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, and it was just fantastic and even got me a little bit emotional. Um, and I really loved it. Um, last thing I want to talk about here, really, is the writing style itself. Um, this is not something I discuss very often in my reviews, but it's something that I felt like highlighting here. Uh, Matthew Stover's writing, I've always heard, was really excellent just on a, a prose level, uh, the way that he writes. And um, I think that is definitely the case with this book. I noted there's not often when I read Star Wars books, especially, where I really notice the prose. Um, I think that is probably intentional because with something like media tie-in fiction, you want it to be very accessible, you want it to be easily digestible, all that kind of thing. So I, I feel like a lot of authors don't really focus too hard on the prose side of things, like really stylizing the writing. Uh, there's a few authors out there that I can think of who kind of are like that. For example, I think Claudia Gray has quite distinct uh, writing style. But the way that Matthew Stover wrote this book was amazing and really made a lot of things hit a lot harder. Um, and I just really enjoyed his writing style in this book. And he's written several other Star Wars books, including the Revenge of the Sith novelization, which I have heard universal praise for. 
um, which I'm very excited to read someday. So um, I really enjoyed that in this book as well. And uh, that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on this book. Basically everything that I could say positively about this book, I, I could probably say, uh, to be honest, even things that I haven't necessarily talked about too much in this review. Um, I loved everything about this book, like literally everything. I, from the first page to the last, it was just interesting and I just did not want to stop reading it. Of course, I had to take breaks here and there to stop reading it. I only read this in a handful of sessions. Um, it took me about three days to finish this book. Um, and in those three days, I only read this in a handful of sessions. I read like a hundred pages a day. Uh, this is a pretty short book as well. Uh, Matthew Stover crams a lot of stuff into 300 pages. In fact, I think it's even less than that. It's like 290 or something. Um, so despite its short length, it packs a big punch and there's a lot in here that uh, was really interesting to dig into and think about. Um, and uh, I don't really know where I was going with this line of thinking. Um, but um, yeah, it was really great. I loved basically everything here all the way through. Uh, I was hooked right from the start and it just kept me going all the way through. Um, which uh, it doesn't happen a lot of times for some books. You know, some books tend to have a lull where I'm not as interested in it or it takes a little while to get going or it loses me towards the end. That None of that happened with this book. I was all in the whole time. Um, and I absolutely loved it. As far as a rating out of 10 that I would give this book, uh, perhaps unsurprisingly considering the things I've said in this review, I would give this book a 10 out of 10. I really loved it. Again, beginning to end, every single thing about this book totally worked for me. Even though it is a very different book from the others in the series, it's much more care. Not that the other books aren't character focused, but this is intensely character focused. It's much smaller scale. I would say it goes even darker than the other books do, which is saying something because some of the other books go really dark. Um, everything in this worked for me, even despite uh, the differences between this book and the others. Um, I really, really loved it a lot. And I can see why it's considered a fan favorite in New Jedi Order. Um, again, it's kind of hard for me to say whether this takes the place of Star by Star, because they are two very different books. Um, and Star by, you know, this book is very small scale, character focused, that kind of thing. Uh, very phil philosophical. Star by Star is the big, it's like three, no, not three times, like two times or more, maybe two and a half times as long as this book. Um, and it's the big epic book with a lot of stuff happening with a lot of different characters. Um, it's the most epic feeling book out of the series so far. Um, so they feel very different. So it's hard for me to really say definitively which one I prefer. But if I were to go just on gut feeling, my personal preference, what I really want out of a book, this one probably takes it as my favorite in the series so far. I really enjoyed it a lot, and it just, it, it really played to all the things that I like to see in a book, basically. Um, I really loved it. So that's pretty much it for this review. So let me know down in the comments if you have read Traitor and what you thought of it, how you think it stacks up compared to the other New Jedi Order books. Is it also your favorite or one of your favorites? Um, or anything like that. Um, and, uh, let me know all that down in the comments. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. So that is pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time.